Chapter Three: Practical Sewing. Dual Feed Device. Setting the dual feed device. This machine is equipped with a built-in dual feed device. It ensures smooth and even feed of all kinds of fabrics. Raise the needle to the highest position and turn the power switch off. Remove the needle. Loosen the set screw and remove the foot holder. Attach the dual feed foot and tighten the set screw firmly to secure the foot. Attach the needle. Raise the presser foot lifter to the extra up position. Swing down the dual feed device and engage it with the dual feed foot. To disengage the dual feed device, pull down the dual feed device and swing it to the rear. Swing up the dual feed device until it snaps into place. Straight stitch sewing with a dual feed device. Patterns D1 to D4 and D1S to D3S can be used with the dual feed device. If you select D1S, D2S, or D3S for sewing fine fabrics, use the dual feed foot for the best sewing results. Raise the presser foot and position the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle to the point where you wish to start. Lower the presser foot. Start the machine and sew at medium speed, letting the fabric feed naturally. The machine will not start if the presser foot is up, and the LCD screen will show a message to lower the foot. Dual feed adjusting dial. If the lower layer puckers, turn the dual feed adjusting dial toward the plus sign. If the upper layer puckers, turn the dual feed adjusting dial toward the minus sign. Altering stitch length and width. The stitch length and width are programmed and optimized for the selected pattern, but you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. To alter the stitch length, press the stitch length adjusting key. To alter the stitch width, press the stitch width adjusting key. For straight stitches, you can move the needle drop position by pressing the stitch width adjusting key. Buttonholes. There are eleven styles of buttonholes available. You can choose the appropriate buttonhole for your garment. The machine will sew a properly sized buttonhole automatically in a single step. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. The buttonhole length is determined automatically. Attach the buttonhole foot and place the fabric under the foot. Lower the presser foot and pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Then start sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete.